Thanks for checking out this unboxing video. This is for the July Fright Crate. Yes, I'm not forgetting to order them now. <laughs> Ever since that one month, I believe it was the April one I'd forgotten to order, but uh, I've been good. I've been on top of it. So for the foreseeable future, I should be doing these videos for you to check out. So let's jump into the July Fright Crate. They always have the uh, quote. Uh, this one's Stephen King. Either get busy living or get busy dying. Yep. It's a good quote. I like it. And this, honestly, at least in comparison to like the last one or two boxes, feels a bit heavier. So I don't know if that means there's just some heavier type stuff or if maybe just like the resin piece is bigger and heavier. So I do remember looking at this one and also for the August one. I do remember looking and not being as crazy excited about the, the um, actual, like, movies, uh, movie properties that they were going to be doing items for, just because they weren't films that I'm, like, huge on. So, I don't remember what they were, but I just remember kind of looking and being like, eh. But, they, they almost always do really good boxes, so I'm sure I'll still like it anyway. Alright, so, packing. Alright, so do the shirt first, because it's on the top, and... <laughs> I like this. Okay, I do remember that this one was in there. So we had gotten that Wishmaster, um, the gin uh, resin piece, which is one of the best resin pieces I've ever gotten out of Fright Crate. It's sitting right over there. It's so good. Um, now we have a Wishmaster shirt, which, you know, how many people do you know have a Wishmaster shirt? That's cool. I, I really dig. I've only seen the first Wishmaster, actually. I've seen it a few times. I really dig it. I need to go further than that. Look at this. Mm-hmm. That's nice. I like that. I really like the how the green pops on this, too. That's really good design. I assume Max Cave did this because he does pretty much all of their shirts. And, um, yeah, that's good. Is that just extra large? It looks huge. Yeah, it's just extra large. I have this weird problem where, like, if I could get between a large and an extra large shirt, that would be preferable, but I can't. The problem is if I do a large shirt, it's like my shoulders are too broad for that. So it fits really weird there. But if I do an extra large shirt, then I ha just have like some extra in the stomach and it usually looks a little too long. So I just go for the extra large for comfort, but you know, it's a thing. What, is what the heck? Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is, um unexpected okay sorry this is this, this is a lot of noise I'm trying to open it over here so it's not as much noise like right in the microphone okay this is I'm not expecting this <laughs> um creature from the black lagoon mask which like that's cool legitimately i i, I dig that i could use that for halloween for sure or just a display somewhere. I guess I gotta, like, put it on. I don't even know if it'll fit me. I'm not sure. I guess I can just do it like that. I'm not gonna, like, pull it over my head because I don't think it's actually gonna fit me. Or, I mean, it it, it will fit me, but it'll be a bit of a struggle, so I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> I can mess with it on my own time. But that looks pretty good. It's legit. Okay. That's a, I think that's a first for them, putting something like that in there. I, that's um, a little bit speechless. I, I was 100% not expecting that. It's, it's cool. I don't know that I'm going to do a whole lot with it, but I know there's some people out there who actually um, collect masks. Okay, so here the pin is for an, a property that I also like in addition to Wishmaster. Uh, by the way, I actually haven't actually seen the creature from the Black Lagoon, the original, so at some point I want to. It's definitely on my list. I've heard, obviously heard good things. It's classic. Eventually I'll get there. So this one, I like this film. This is a good one. Motel Hell. And that is a really cool pin. They always do such a good job with the pins, too. If you remember the last month, they had that move, that one with the moving piece on it with the Jason with the Weed Whacker from um, 7, I think it was. I remember no, or um, Friday 13th 7. Yeah, that's good. 
that looks good. I like how it's um like the top of the chainsaw is larger, like it's kind of like coming at you. It's like a perspective thing. Yeah, that's cool. They always do such a good job with that. So because of the mask, I guess there's just one more item, which I'm already happy because the pin's really nice and the shirt's really nice. So, and then these resin pieces are usually good. So here we go. Okay. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Sculpting-wise, they've definitely done better before. This is uh, for The Exorcist. This doesn't look a whole lot like Regan, to be honest. I mean, I get, like, you can tell, like, that's where they're going. Like, her body proportions look weird. Her her head looks weird. Her face looks weird. It's not the best. Um, yeah, this is one of my least favorite ones that they've done. Plus, like, if you look at the puke on there, it just looks like it's barely there. And it also probably should have been a brighter color of green. Um, also, what is going on on the bottom of this? What is that? That's weird. It's like all messed up and like weird looking. Yeah, overall the paint job's kind of sloppy on this. And look at the head. Like the head's kind of messed up. Like what's going on there? Yeah, not the best. This is this is this is probably the most disappointed I've actually been with their resin pieces now that said obviously i don't know how to do anything like this so this is someone who doesn't have this type of artistic creativity saying that i don't really like it that much so take it for what that is i mean the fact that people can do this is impressive to me in the first place i'm just saying in comparison to everything else all the other resin pieces they've done this is not so hot that's all i'm saying but um yeah the oof, the paint job on this is rough man paint job is rough there's a lot yeah so not very happy with that but like i said i'm still happy with the box because shirt really cool pin really cool i think the mask is cool but i don't know that i'm really gonna use it so i don't know all right so let's go over a little spoiler thing exclusive creature from the black lagoon mask custom mask oh, it's custom made with eye inserts made exclusively for fright crate that's that's cool i like that you can't find this mask anywhere else. Great quality. Counts as two items. Yeah, pr pr probably because that's more expensive, especially if they had it done, like, exclusively for the box. Hopefully some people are, like, super excited about that. Exclusive Wishmaster shirt. Your wish is granted. Amazing art. Ugh, amazing artwork from our very own Max Cave. Yep. And I, I like that quite a bit. Exclusive Regan bust. The Exorcist. Roughly, roughly four-inch bust from Serial Resin Co., Warning, might projectile vomit on you. Got it. They, they get witty with these descriptions. Exclusive Motel Hello pin. Autocorrect, maybe? Motel Hell pin. Uh, I take all kinds... It, it takes all kinds of critters to make Farmer Vincent's fritters. Such a great quote from that film. Two-inch pin, soft enamel, double clutch, as usual. So that's what we got. Um, Yeah, not a whole lot to unbox because the mask counted as two items but i understand why because it's more expensive but to recap really nice love it really nice love it obviously um i think the mask is cool it's not really my thing i'm probably not going to do a lot with it May might find someone i can give it to and not too happy with the bust but it is what it is onward upward and onward uh excited for the next one i think I think I remember one of the properties. I'm pretty sure I remember one of them, so I will share it with you right now. So if you don't want to know, go ahead and sign off right now. Okay, those people are gone. The Ring, I believe there's something from The Ring for the next one. But if you don't know, they post that stuff. They always have like a preview telling you what's coming for the next month on their Facebook page, so you can check that out. I mean, pretty much everything that they post is on their Facebook. So if it's what's coming up or if it's um, updates on shipping, stuff like that, that's where they're posting stuff. It's pr I mean, they have a Twitter, but I've never seen them actually use the t their Twitter account, really. So, you know. But anyway, hopefully people like this unboxing. Um, go ahead and put your comments down there if you got this box and what your thoughts are on it. Or even if you didn't get the box and what items you think were really cool, what ones you didn't like, whatever. Uh, also... Do me a quick favor, hit that subscribe button, because if you like any videos that I do, unboxings, movie reviews, and if you don't know, I do 
a lot of movie reviews on my channel. And they're not just like straight up movie reviews. It's more like analysis of like themes and subplot or uh, subtext and stuff like that. It's a little more nerdy and in depth. Um, yeah, so if you like any of the videos I do, a great way to repay me is to subscribe to the channel because it really helps me out with growing the channel. And I feel personally very grateful whenever people do subscribe. It means a lot to me personally, so I would appreciate that. And if you are going to subscribe or you already have, make sure you hit the notification bell because that way you know whenever I'm putting, putting new videos up or doing a live stream or anything like that. But regardless, thanks for checking this out. And until next time, keep it brutal.